Back in 1986, a team of researchers at Cardiff University decided to get together to make a car powered only by the energy from the sun. This was something that had not been done before or since on open roads. And the vehicle set out on Midsummer's Day from the centre of Athens beside the Olympic Stadium. In the full sunshine of the noonday, they set off on a two and a half thousand kilometre trip. The Greek police gave us an escort so that we could drive directly across on the motorways to Piraeus on the coast where there was a ferry crossing to go to the calf of Italy. Each evening the team found a campsite and used anything to catch the last rays of the sun to hold the charge in their batteries for the next morning. While driving there was always an outrider on a moped behind just to give more visibility and to make sure that the traffic especially those large lorries moved out a bit instead of pushing us into the ditch which fortunately worked well. Starting in the morning from the campsite this vehicle was not meant for off-roading and each day we set out not knowing exactly how far we'd go depending very much on the conditions. Through the north of Italy we had to cross the Apennines and that slowed down a lot especially as we hit a lot of bad weather and the height though gave us a good run back down onto the coast and to see the Mediterranean again. We drove along the south coast of France having done a quick circuit around Monte Carlo on the way, across the flatlands and down into northern Spain. I wonder what Salvador Dali would have made of that strange shaped car. By the time we got to Madrid, Madrid we had quite a following from the media and the mayor gave uh, a welcome to us in the city hall. The rest of the journey across Spain was very sunny and hot, ideal conditions. But the countryside gets greener as you approach Portugal. And we could finally guess that Lisbon was a realistic destination. Lots of people were fairly amazed to see such a strange vehicle. But nonetheless, again the police let us use the motorway as we crossed the suspension bridge over Lisbon Harbour to our final destination where the researchers greeted us with a great welcome. And many thanks to all those who helped by coming on the expedition, by giving their time and their resources freely so that this uh, rather crazy expedition could take place. <laughs>